Hi, it's Alex. People seem to engage a lot with my videos on the topic of feminism, so I want to talk more about it. And this time I want to ask the question, does it matter whether or not you identify as feminist? I think this question, it doesn't necessarily have an easy yes or no answer, but I want to talk about the idea of labels in general, and some of the things that I think can go wrong with them. If you label yourself feminist, or say I'm not a feminist, if you do that, you're sending a message to other people. And sending messages to people can be good, if people have a clear sense of what message you're sending. But if people have different ideas of what you mean by that label, people can sort of receive that message in fundamentally different ways. So one person might believe that feminism is about working towards gender equality. So, if you say, I'm feminist, then that person is going to hear your identification in that way. Another person, though, they might have a fundamentally different view of feminism, one that is much more negative. They might see feminism as this kind of extremist ideology that is very negative and is about putting women on a higher level than men. And that person is going to hear you say, I'm feminist, and they're going to hear it in that negative context, that whole framework, based on their impression of feminism. So you've said, I'm feminist, and these two people have heard that in fundamentally different ways. I, if I hear that, I'm going to hear it in a completely different way from either of those two people. I've had a lot of different experiences with feminism, and with people who identify as feminist. And I know that there are forms of feminism that are outright pernicious. I don't think I'm exaggerating to say that. There are some manifestations of feminism that are negative and hostile and just have some really awful elements in them. And there are also elements of feminism and feminist groups that I think are wonderful and are really doing great things in the world and are working to promote equality for people of all genders, and equality of opportunity, and that I would agree with wholeheartedly. So when someone says, I'm feminist, I feel like it doesn't really give me very much information about them and their viewpoints. I'm going to need to ask them more questions, I'm going to need to get to know them better, I'm going to need to observe their behavior and their actions, read or listen to what they write or say, in order to know what they mean when they say, I'm feminist. So, because I know that other people can perceive the things in different ways, I tend to like to refrain from labeling myself. I'm not going to say, I'm feminist. I'm also not going to say that I'm not feminist. And I'm certainly not anti-feminist. I think that there are many forms of feminism that I agree with more or less wholeheartedly. But, like I said before, there are some forms of them that I just really want to distance myself from. So, if I'm talking about whether or not I'm feminist, I'm either not going to say anything at all, or I'm going to say that I don't like to label myself, or I'm going to make a little bit more of an extended explanation if I have the time to do so. So that's my choice of how to respond to this. Now, does it matter what you do? I think that there are some different ways of looking at this. First of all, it's not necessarily a bad thing if people misunderstand you some of the time. And I think that there's a degree to which, if you choose to present yourself a certain way, you are doing a small part to kind of redefine what it means to wear whatever label you're wearing. So if you go around and you say, I'm feminist, and then you treat men like crap, and you exhibit double standards, and you're hostile towards men, you're redefining feminism in a way that reinforces that negative view of it. On the other hand, if you go around and you say openly, I'm feminist, and you voice rational and respectful viewpoints, and you listen to people, and you show like consistency in your beliefs and your viewpoints, and you demonstrate through your words and actions that you really are committed to equality of gender, that you are also concerned about men, and concerned about men's issues, even if you're focusing on women's issues, if you do those things, then you are going to contribute to this more positive viewpoint of feminism. So, 
you may or may not want to do these things. You may look at it and say, it's not worth it to me. Like, I'd like to redefine feminism by wearing this label, but I don't want to put up with this sort of misinterpretation or of my viewpoints. Or you may decide that it is worth it for you. It's kind of a trade-off, you know? You have this sort of potential for misunderstanding, and you might have to do a little bit more work to explain yourself. You might have some people direct hostility at you on the basis of things you don't even believe, don't even support, by wearing that feminist label. But then you may get the sort of opportunity to redefine feminism, if you want to do that. Personally, I don't really want to do that. I still want to work towards feminist goals. I don't necessarily feel the need to go around saying, I'm a feminist, look at me! Uh, I think I did that in the past, and I think I got to a point where I had had enough negative experiences with feminism that I understood that there were a lot of real, legitimate reasons why people could feel uncomfortable with feminism. So I stopped doing that. My viewpoints didn't really change. It's more just like a practical communication issue. I don't want other people to wrongly conclude things about what I believe, to jump to conclusions about what I believe because of wearing that label. So that's what I have to say right now. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Another disclaimer, I know I said this in one of my previous videos, but the comments really got out of hand on the one video about feminism. If you leave a, top, a comment that is off topic, that insults me or other people, or that is containing gross negative generalizations about people, like feminists, feminism, so on, I will probably delete it, and it, depending on how bad it is, I may ban you from the channel. Uh, I really like hearing competing viewpoints, though, so if you disagree with me, uh, I encourage you to share that disagreement. Just try to be respectful and specific instead of making these global statements. It's really important that this channel is a place for nuanced and respectful dialogue. This is not free speech. Uh, I'm not going to post whatever people want to say. I want to post whatever I consider respectful. It's not viewpoints that I agree with, it's viewpoints that I think are relatively more objective in how they're worded. Um, so within that framework, please comment. Um, and as always, if you like what I have to say, then please share my video. I would love for it to reach a broader audience. Thank you.